Welcome. We present a short video of our featured speakers in the upcoming Zoom event, a dialogue for revolutionaries, voting rights, and reproductive freedom rising. The event is on Saturday, September 10th, 2022. Starts at 11 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Central, and 2 Eastern Standard Time. Each of our featured speakers are responding to questions asked in an interview. Please watch this video as you prepare to register for this event, sponsored by the League of Revolutionaries for New America. Just Google Lerna.org to find us on the web. That is L R N A dot O R G. But when it comes to reproductive um, justice, my main motivators are black and brown people. Um, they have historically been pushed to the side when it comes to any issue, but specifically for reproductive care, um, a lot of need health care. Um, invest in young people, invest in young people of color, young black people. Um, because they are the people who are shifting everything right now, um, specifically young organizers. Um, we have truly revolutionized what it means to be a digital organizer. Um, our campaign vote nay was 90% um, it, like in social media. Um, we had a pretty large following um, on our Instagram and our Twitter, Facebook. And so I think it's really important to understand that there is so much that we're doing um, aside from just putting in in-person work or protesting in person or doing those things that are traditionally um, considered like advocacy. Um, so I think it's, it's imperative that we understand that young people are are changing the way that we stand up for these issues and it's really important to support them and uplift them in all of their efforts mostly out of necessity my family um is it has the entire time i've been married which is 23 years august 15th of this year um we've lived in extreme poverty so it's a necessity for me to, um, to organize. Um, I watched my whole block get shut off from water because none of us could afford our water. So um, I organized because uh, we had to. We had to because water is life. <laughs> and, um, and also, you know, it's, it is about being human in this experience that we're having, um, right? Looking out for each other, making sure that we all have our basic needs, that we have thriving communities um, and, and nobody's coming to save us. That's something that we have to do for ourselves and we get what we're organized to take. Well, voting rights are important for everyone, right? It's important that, um, that, that that tool in the shed, there's a lot of tools in the shed. It's important that that tool in, in the shed is protected um, so that we can make sure that we do have laws being put in place for safe, affordable water for everyone to make sure that we are, um, you know, finding candidates that are grassroots like Nicole or, you know, uh, somebody like that, that with those folks are being elevated to these um, these places of power. So that uh, when it comes to reproductive rights, I have birthed four people with uteruses. Um, so it's in all of our best interest to protect um, uh, abortion rights, health care for all people, all of those things. It's important for us to do that uh, now so that our kids have have what they need later. So the future generations have what they need later. And the long answer is because as a black woman, as a, a black person of color, period, I have seen so many mistreatments of our people to the point where they weren't treated as human beings. And I feel it's my duty, not only to my community, but to my ancestors, to ensure and do whatever I can in my power to eradicate that 
and fight for equal human rights across the board. I'm aware of the fight that my ancestors did just so I could have the right to vote. And I see that that's being fought against and trying to be taken away from us. And I don't want to let that happen. I won't let that happen. And as a woman, I feel like there should not be a group of white cis males sitting on Capitol Hill telling me what I can and cannot do with my body as far as carrying or giving birth to a child or choosing even to get pregnant. And I think the most important thing that people need to hear is that don't let anyone tell you that you yourself can't make a difference. One person can make a difference. And the thing is, is when you work towards making a difference, you draw out other people that are working towards making a difference and you build a collaborative and you become stronger because you meet like-minded people and together we can change the world. But I, I have a lot of emotions about the pain, tragedy, and injustice that I've experienced in my own family. Um, I serve a lot of different communities and I, I see the struggle and um, the trauma that they experience. And I also know that it doesn't have to be like this. And State of Kansas, voting rights and reproductive re freedom have been uh, in the news. Uh, we recently defeated an abortion amendment that would have changed our constitution, that would have allowed for a total ban, and even worse, a direct criminalization of things like basic pregnancy complications. I think the biggest thing I learned in the last couple of years here in the state of Kansas is that most people are pretty reasonable. Most people generally agree at some level about, uh, about our country, about our human rights, and about our privacy, and about our freedoms. The problem is most people don't vote. And I, I think that focusing on the things that we can agree upon um, and then supporting each other to get to the polls so that we have a voice in who is making our laws, um, that we can change everything. <laughs> I cannot wait for September 10th. 